Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Donovan and today I want to compare up my newest smartwatch, the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active, to a watch that I've had now for about eight months. This is the Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music. Now the Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music when it initially launched was available for $300, but at the moment you can pick it up for around $250. So I'll leave a link down in the description if you're interested in checking it out. In contrast, the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active has only been out for about a week now and it's been available for $200 since launch. It's available in multiple different colors including the quote-unquote green color that you see here but I would call it blue also pink white and black now uh, as far as build quality goes you can see there's some pretty obvious differences between the two one of them being that the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active is slightly smaller although they have the same size display this one just has a significantly larger bezel as you can see around there and uh, in terms of weight though the Garmin Vivo Active 3 music is actually the lightest of the two um, and that's because this one has a metal bezel around here whereas the Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music actually has a completely plastic build so it's slightly lighter as a result um, now if you get the regular Garmin Vivo Active 3 um, it doesn't come with a plastic bezel it actually has a metal bezel so I'm not sure when they came out with the music why they decided to go with the plastic bezel but they did and uh, as far as the display goes we have a uh, trans reflective display here on the Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music. So this one's definitely not as punchy as what you get with the AMOLED display over here on the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about the active features of these two watches. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music. And uh, to get to the activities, I'm just going to go ahead and hit the button. You see it's automatically going to take me into the activity. So we're going to run through just a few of the things that they have available here. So run, treadmill, bike, walk, pool, swim, cardio, and then there's one for navigate. And if I hit this little extra one, you can see there's a bunch of other ones available here. Uh, so basically it covers just about any kind of activity that you could want. And you can see there's also a way to add additional ones that you may not see here uh, so the point here being that basically any kind of activity that you would want to be able to track it's pretty much trackable here on the Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music and I will add that it's very uh accurate with its tracking so the heart rate sensor is very accurate also the GPS has been dead on for me uh, in comparison to any other watch that I've reviewed it's pretty much been uh, spot on every single time and uh, also one other thing to mention here is that it's very customizable so if I go in here into the workouts um, I can customize it to uh, show whatever I want to show. So if I go in here to data screens, I can adjust the layout here. I can change it to four fields, six fields, whatever. And uh, it's very customizable. So that's one thing I really like about um, the Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music is the fact that I can customize what data it's showing me while I'm working out. So that's really a huge benefit of the Garmin. Now on the Samsung, uh, also pretty much everything that I said about the Garmin is true except one small thing and uh, it's actually not a super small thing and that is the data that it shows you. So you're definitely a little bit more limited on what kind of data you can see here. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the workout settings here. Uh, so I'll go here into Samsung Health, go into the workouts, and you'll see all of the different options we have. So pull-ups, running, walking, uh, cycling, hiking, and you, I'm just going to kind of scroll through here. Um, but yeah, so there's pretty much everything here. Now, one thing I will mention is that they have a lot more specific things here. So like arm curls, arm extensions, you can see there's a lot more specific things here. Whereas over here, these are just listed as strength training or cardio. So they don't have specific activities like crunches and deadlifts and things like that. So that's one advantage of the Samsung. Um, however, I will say also, um, if I go back here, um, and we go back into like something like running. It is dead on when it comes to GPS. I'm going to go ahead and hit running. And uh, you can see that it was going to give me the option. Um, here I can tap to skip that if I want and I can start my workout. But notice that uh, here I have my time, I have my distance, and I have my pace. So obviously right now it's not going to show that. And if I slide over here, I can get any into more data screens. Um, but this is not as customizable. You can customize it. And so I'll go ahead and show you how you do that. So I'll stop that and hit finish. And yes, we'll finish it and uh, I'll go down here and delete it because I don't actually want it to keep that one. Um, but I want to go ahead and show you how you customize it. So you probably saw it earlier, but there is a little settings option there. 
I got a message just a second ago. And uh, here I can go in and uh, adjust the data screen. So right here, workout screen. So I can customize what kinds of things are on here. So I can have a music controller on there. I can have a target screen. So you can uh, set a target for like calories burned or distance or pace. Um, so you can set those targets. I just, I like to go out and run. I don't really like to set targets like that because um, I know how far I'm going to run. I don't really care about calories in it. Yeah, so anyways. Um, but yeah, so you can see here, we can go in here and we can customize what screen screens we have, but we're limited to three. So you can see, obviously, I can put whatever I want there, but it's limited to three things. So that would be the one maybe just small difference I have here with uh, the Samsung in terms of actual workouts is the fact that this one isn't as customizable as what you get on the Garmin. So that's the maybe slight weakness you get here, whereas over here you don't have those specific workouts like you have on the Samsung. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about the software. And for me, there's absolutely no question that the Samsung watch is the better of the two when it comes to uh, software. And uh, that's true when I compare this up to an Apple watch, when compared to a Wear OS device or an Android Wear OS device or Garmin software. It really doesn't matter because honestly, for me, Samsung just has the best software out there. Uh, so we have up here, we have our shortcuts. If I hold down here, I can go into different watch faces that are available. And then if I I scroll over to the right we have some widgets and you can customize these however you want and honestly the customization is probably one of the biggest things that makes it so nice and then over here on the left we have our notifications if you have them connected up to a Samsung or really any Android device you can use uh, your voice in order to respond to messages so that's really great as well the limitation when it comes to Samsung software is the fact that there are not a whole lot of apps that are available in comparison to like Wear OS uh, or uh, the App Store for the Apple Watch. Now, Garmin, on the other hand, uh, their software is good. It works very well. It's very fluid. Um, you can see that uh, we have a lot of fitness-focused apps on here. Pretty much everything here, of course, is fitness-focused. Uh, the one exception to that being the music. Um, so this is Spotify right now. So if I click here, it'll go into my various Spotify playlists. Um, and it works very well. The software works uh, very, very well. However, it's definitely slower in comparison to the Samsung, and it's a little bit even more limited than what you get on the Samsung. And like I said, it's pretty much just fitness focused. So if that's what's important to you, then obviously the Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music does a fantastic job with those fitness focused apps. All right, so the last area I want to compare is the battery life of the two watches. So there's no question here that the Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music is the winner. And that's honestly because uh, I'm generally getting about three full days on a single charge with the Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music. And that's uh, with using the GPS on about a 60 minute workout each day and then also listening to music at the same time. So this one's getting very good battery life, generally about two to three days minimum. Um, and that's fantastic. Now, if you don't use the GPS or the music, music you can definitely stretch that out to like four or five days we're over here on the samsung galaxy watch active uh, you do have the added benefit of having qi wireless charging obviously if you have the samsung devices the newer samsung devices you can actually charge it with your phone which is pretty darn awesome um, but yeah it does come with a qi wireless charger or you can use any wireless charger to charge it up but with that being said in terms of the actual battery life i'm getting about one day of use out of this one, um, especially if you wear it out on a run with GPS or really you're using the GPS and Bluetooth. Bluetooth especially is the battery killer for this one. Uh, I went out for an eight mile run last night and it burned through about 10% battery. Whereas if I went on that same eight mile run listening to music and GPS, we're looking at like 40 to 45% of battery life uh, burned through on this one. So Bluetooth definitely will kill this one a lot faster. That's listening to music through headphones phones. And uh, yeah, so with that being said, uh, generally about one full day of use, maybe stretch it out to two days um, here, but there's no question that the Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music has the better of the battery life of these two. Now, with that being said, the regular Galaxy Watch had fantastic battery life, more in comparison to the Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music. So those are more comparable versus the active version, which has only a 230 milliamp hour battery. Uh, so that's a big reason for that. So now let's go ahead and conclude this video and I just want to share with you just kind of my general thoughts. Uh, the Garmin, or sorry, the Garmin Vivo Active 3 Music for me is the better watch. If you're just a pure activity tracker as a pure activity tracker. If you are someone who's just looking for the best, uh, you know, running watch, uh, 
activity companion i would say the garmin vivo active 3 music is the better of the two it supports spotify deezer music you can just uh, transfer music directly from your computer um, with that one as well over here on the uh, Samsung Galaxy Watch. This one for me is going to be just kind of the better all-around smartwatch of the two. So if you're looking for just a all-around smartwatch that just works very well, I would say probably go with the Samsung of the two. So anyways, uh, my quick thoughts on the two. If there's anything I skipped over that you might be interested in knowing about, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. Also, uh, support the channel by checking out the links down below, making those purchases because it does help the channel out a lot when you make those Amazon link purchases down below. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has been helpful for you and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.